Tell me about yourself. Uh, first of all, thank you to give me this opportunity to introduce myself. Myself, Pallavi Rajaram Sonon. I am from Nasik. Recently, I completed my master's in computer application from the MIT Bhujbal Knowledge City. I have a skill in Android development and now I am pursuing .NET course. Um, last uh, summer, I interned in the Sonanda Infotech as an Android developer and I really enjoy my experience over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, my hobby is uh, reading book and uh, drawing. Uh, that is all about me. Thank you, sir. So your password year is? 2023. 23. You are done your MCA. 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 Okay. So, uh, tell me something about .NET and .NET Framework. What is basically .NET? Sir, so, .NET is a, a Microsoft technology. Mm -hmm. uh, .NET Framework is a collection of the uh, components uh, mm -hmm. to execute and compile programs. Mm -hmm. um, in the .NET is uh, used to uh, create a different type of application like console application, Windows mm -hmm. application, web application and android applications okay so what are different components of dotnet framework uh, components is a toolbox components like cts cls uh, cts uh, cls hmm. uh, clr okay. and uh, fcl okay what is clr uh, CLR is a heart of the .NET frameworks. Mm -hmm. uh, it is help to uh, create um, inherit data from the another classes, and uh, it is. Uh, uh, CLR is a common language runtime, right? Yes, sir. Okay, it's a compiler. It is compiler to okay. help to uh, which languages are used in the uh, uh, mm -hmm. prefer uh, programs. What is FCL? FCL is a uh, functional framework. Uh, framework common libraries. Class library. Class okay. libraries. Okay, so now tell me something about object-oriented programming. What is the difference between object-oriented and procedure-oriented? Object-oriented uh, OOPS is uh, uh, basically stand for the object-oriented programming language, and uh, POP stand for the procedure. Uh, oriented programming language mm -hmm. uh, oops are the uh, prefer to bottom uh, bottom to top approaches and pop is a prefer top to bottom approaches uh, oops are uh, uh, start uh, helps to uh, this concept is a uh, inheritance polymorphism mm -hmm. is abstraction and encapsulation pop is not uh, using this concept uh, oops are the uh, time taking uh, concept as compared to POP is a time saver concept. Oops are uh, used in uh, preferably language is uh, C++, .NET, uh, Java in the POP are mainly used in the C. Okay. So, what are different concepts of object-oriented programming languages? What, which concept do you know? Inheritance, hmm. uh, classes and object, polymorphism, abstraction and encapsulations. Okay. What is constructor then? Uh, constructor is a, a special feature of the C sharp. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a, a same name as a class name. Mm -hmm. uh, it is does not having the return types, mm -hmm. and uh, it is uh, always uh, public. Constructor is always public. public. Can we have a private constructor in C sharp? Yes, sir. Okay, private constructor is there. What is the use of private constructor in C sharp? If the variables are uh, performing in the static and values are uh, giving to the static, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, that condition we can use the private constructor. So when all the data members and member, member functions, functions are static, static, then in that case other class is not allowed, allowed to, create, to objects. create objects. In that case we create private constructor. Private constructor. Then what is the static constructor in C sharp? Uh, given the values, uh, mm -hmm. values of the variables in the static, mm -hmm. um, in one line or one or two line, how you will explain this concept, static constructor? It is storing the value in static. That's to initialize static variable? Yes. Sir. Right? And to execute a code which must be, we can say, executed only once, once. for the first object. Yes. In that case, we are, we can write static, static constructor. Static constructor. Can we write more than one constructor in yes, C sir. sharp? What yes. is that concept? Which is that concept? Um, method overriding. Method or constructor? Constructor. More than one constructor with different 
parameters? Yes, sir. So which concept? Method overloading. I constructor. Constructor overloading. overloading. More than one constructor in a class. Yes. Sir. Okay. Suppose uh, if you are not creating any constructor, then can you explain that scenario? Yes, sir. If uh, we cannot create the constructor, mm -hmm. the compiler create a default constructor in okay. there. Okay. So what it actually do in that default constructor? It initializes integer fields to zero, right? Zero and, and string um, fields to null. null. Okay. So now tell me something about uh, partial classes. So partial class is mainly used to the uh, separated uh, one file into another file. Mm -hmm. And if uh, we can't uh, suppose we compile this uh, uh, program, mm -hmm. that time it's helped to merge uh, these files. Okay. So we can divide our files, files in more than more one. Than we one. can divide our class file in more than one file, one right? Files. Any example? You know. Uh, sir is a... In Windows application, right? Yes, sir. So you have your... Uh, when you create any class, when you create any form, so it create two partial two classes. Partial classes. To initialize elements. Elements. Okay. And... Uh, to write our code, code behind file with same class name, okay. Now, tell me something about uh, inheritance, what are the benefits of inheritance in C-sharp? Sir, inheritance basically uh, mm -hmm. inherit data from the one class to another class. Mm -hmm. In uh, here it has the C, uh, four different types in there. Mm -hmm. This is a single inheritance, mm -hmm. multiple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, and hierarchical inheritance. Multiple inheritance is there? Yes, sir. Multiple? Multiple Supported inheritance. in C sharp? No, sir. Why? Uh, if uh, class or uh, class mm -hmm. or parameters are given in this uh, program, mm -hmm. it is the same name. Mm -hmm. uh, that compilers create ambiguity. So that time it is uh, confused. So it is not supported. When, when the parent classes is having same methods, yes, in sir. that case, it is creating ambiguity. ambiguity. When we call those, those methods from child class. Child class. Okay. So uh, what is the difference between inheritance and interface? What is interface? Okay. What is abstract class? Uh, in abstract class is not created another object in there. Abstract mm. class is already inherited. Mm. Uh, abstract class is uh, mainly used in uh, um, abstract method and class is there. Mm. Uh, Can we create object of an abstract class? No, sir. Then? Abstract... Uh, what is the use of abstract class if we are not going to create any it object? It is already inherited. Hmm. And uh, it is uh, so we must inherit inherited abstract class. class. Okay. So now tell me something about uh, exceptions. Exceptions uh, are used to um, hmm. avoid the runtime errors. Hmm. Uh, it is a special event for the uh, handle the runtime errors. Uh, in uh, exception is also called as the garbage collection mm -hmm. exception uh, to avoid uh, we can use try catch uh, try and catch finally, and finally, finally block. blocks okay. if uh, in a try uh, in a try blocks mm -hmm. we return the logically codes mm -hmm. if uh, some arguments or uh, some concept are not in there mm -hmm. so we uh, try throws the catch and mm -hmm. catches are uh, really used uh, in if we are so using the exception, exception then catch then block catch is executed, executed. Okay. finally is not uh, compulsory to return anything mm -hmm. if we returns uh, we can pass the message from it is okay so in c sharp which event you have used to validate the data in windows application i'm talking about Sorry, sir, I can't. Validating? Uh, validating is there and. Uh, mm. Okay. So now, uh, tell me something about uh, 
डायनामिक पॉलीमॉर्फिजम सर डायनामिक पॉलीमॉर्फिजम इज ऑल्सो नोन एज रन टाइम पॉलीमॉर्फिजम इट इज बेसिकली यूज इन मेथर ओवर राइडिंग एंड इफ वी कैन एक्सिक्यूटेड एंड एक्सिक्यूटेड द प्रोग्राम्स दैट टाइम वैल्यू आर द चेंज so it which keyword fixed. you have used in uh, dynamic to implement a dynamic polymorphism what is virtual method what is virtual keyword basically so you used virtual keyword in dynamic polymorphism yes sir what is virtual method or where you use that virtual keyword so i say anti mammal okay so virtual methods are those methods whose behavior can be overridden Over in child classes yes. so have you used that override keyword in child class no, before method name no. no okay so we have to use two keywords one is virtual, virtual. the method which is from base, base class, class to and uh, override keyword before child, child class, class method. method okay okay so now um tell me something about uh, Uh, encapsulation. So encapsulation is a uh, binding data in the single unit. Mm -hmm. uh, in the real time example, we can say the school bag. Mm -hmm. uh, in the school bag, we have in the textbooks is there, uh, mm -hmm. notebooks is there, as well as bottles and mm -hmm. dictionary geometry box is there. Okay, and can you give me one real life example of uh, interface? No, sir. Your laptop, your keyboard is an interface. Example of interface, interface right? Yes. So you you can only see the interface, which is your keyboard. keyboard. Implementation details are hidden. Okay. Like abstractions. Okay. So Pallavi, now uh, you have to prepare more. Okay. Yes. आपको deeply study करना है. Okay. Next time again, I will take your interview. Yes. Okay. Sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, sir.